complete process for branding bitter melon. The soil should be well-draining, fertile, and rich in organic matter. Bitter melon prefers a slightly acidic soil with an AITS level between 6.0 and 6.5 Bitter melon scientifically known as Mamortica charantia is a tropical fruit that belongs to the gourd family, Cucurbitaceus. It is also known by various other names including bitter gourd, bitter squash, Kerala As the name suggests, bitter melon has a strong and bitter taste. The bitterness comes from various compounds present in the fruit, including mamortican, charentine, and cucurbitacin. The flavor can be quite intense and may take some time to acquire a taste for it. Bitter melon is oblong in shape, resembling a cucumber or gourd. It has a distinctive warty, bumpy, and uneven surface. The fruit varies in size, ranging from 5 to 30 in cm, 2 to 12 inches in length. When ripe, the color changes from green to yellow, orange, and the skin becomes more wrinkled. It can also provide shade during scorching summer days and create a microclimate that enhances growth and productivity. Choose lightweight and durable materials for constructing the shelter, such as bamboo poles, privacy pipes, or wooden stakes. Bitter melon is a common ingredient in many Asian cuisines, including Indian, Chinese, and Filipino. It is used in a variety of dishes such as stir, fries, curries, soups, and salads. Bitter melon can be cooked in different ways to reduce the bitterness, such as blanching it in salted water or marinating it in salt before cooking it. Bitter melon is low in calories and carbohydrates, making it suitable for people following a low-calorie or low-carb diet. 
It is a good source of various vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin A, potassium, and iron. Bitter melon also contains fiber and antioxidants. Erect a framework by placing the poles or stakes around the planting area, creating a structure that is tall and wide enough to accommodate the growing vines. Secure the poles firmly into the ground, leaving enough space between them for the vines to weave through. Connect the poles at the top, forming a roof-like structure. Use twine or wire to tie and reinforce the joints. Determine the size and shape of the shelter based on the number of bitter melon plants and the available space. You'll also need sturdy twine or wire to secure the materials together. A shelter for bitter melon serves to protect the plants from excessive heat, heavy rainfall, and strong winds. Plant two, three seeds per mound, burying them approximately one inch deep. Space multiple mounds at least three, four feet apart to allow vines to spread. Bitter melon thrives in warm and humid climates. It requires a minimum temperature of 70 to F20 on indexing. For optimal growth, choose a location that receives full sunlight for at least six, eight hours a day. Once the seedlings emerge, keep the soil consistently moist, but avoid overwatering as excessive moisture can lead to root rot. Water deeply, providing around 1-2 inches of water per week, adjusting based on rainfall and temperature conditions. Mulch around the plants to retain soil moisture, suppress weed growth, and regulate soil temperature.
Alternatively, you can start seeds indoors three, four weeks before the last frost date and transplant them later. Create small mounds or hills about 12, 18 inches apart. Each mound should be about six, eight inches high and wide. Bitter melon is a vigorous vine that requires support to climb and grow properly. Install a trellis, fence, or sturdy poles near the planting area. When the seedlings reach a height of six, eight inches, gently train them to climb the trellis or support structure. Remember to provide regular care and maintenance to your bitter melon plants, including watering, pruning, and addressing any pest or disease. Thank you for watching. See you in the next vlog. Till then, take care and stay safe.